Hello, happy Friday. All right, so I got an email probably a little while ago now from Eve. And Eve says, um, well, first of all, she said, do you assume that the emails in the videos are from my clients? No, because to my clients, I talk directly to them. I wouldn't answer them in a general YouTube video. So you did the right thing if you're just not a client and send me an email if you have a question. And these YouTube videos, this is general advice because I don't know you, Eve. So this is just kind of like how I'd answer this question generally. I hope that everybody gets that. Um, all right. So I, pers um, I was wondering about recovery for those who've never been malnourished. I'm already suspicious. I wonder why you're watching an eating disorder YouTube channel if you've never been malnourished. Maybe it's just your definition of malnutrition that needs a bit of a tweak. Anyway, I'm already casting judgment, aren't I? I personally did lose my period for a year. Sounds like malnourishment to me. Um, but I've had it back for over a year and I was never excessively malnourished, in your opinion, Eve. <laughs> Your body might have different views on how malnourished you were or not. Um, the vast majority of the time I'm eating plenty, in your opinion, and I've never severely restricted. Hmm. <laughs> I've mostly got over the orthorexic mindset in which I was only eating clean foods. I'm vegan still, which I know is not the best idea. I thoroughly agree with you. <laughs> um, but I love it for so many reasons, um, and I now eat unhealthy foods all the time, often in large portions if I'm with friends. Good for you. So I end up with intense feelings of guilt, feelings of helplessness that I can never recover because I've never been that ill and I'm never going to be able to have real relationships or fulfill my goal of being a therapist, etc, etc, spiralling. Because I can't justify eating that normal or excessive or unhealthy food because I'm not recovering from being malnourished. Um, especially recently with school break, I've like been to the gym four times in the past month so the feelings are intensified. I've realised that watching your videos that have shown lots of behaviors without realizing that they were but not enough to be in physical danger in your opinion eve um i don't want to mean to say my experience is anything like the torture of extreme restricting i just know that there are many people worse off than me um but whatever this is this it's hell and i was hoping you had some words of wisdom and recovering that essentially feels like nothing um recovering from what essentially feels like nothing all right so eve the problem that we have here is that you're not understanding that one does not have to be extremely underweight in order to be malnourished, and one does not have to be um, a uh, BMI that's considered underweight in order to be underweight. And I have explained this quite a lot in my book and in many of the blogs on my site as well, and I think I did a podcast on it as well, that you can be underweight at any weight. So say, for example, if your natural BMI is 26, and that's just the way your genetics are and that your beautiful body wants to be at that BMI. If you then go on a diet, which is food restriction, and you get yourself down to a BMI 22, which is well within the normal range, and your doctor will probably say, well done you. And everybody will be like, oh my God, you're fabulous. But your body could be in malnutrition at that BMI 22, because that's whole fucking four BMI points below what your body actually wants to be at to, in order to optimize health. And remember, like if your body is naturally a BMI of around 26, then that's where it's going to be when it wants to, when, to optimize health. That's where it functions best. And so you can't judge what state of malnutrition that you might be in from your appearance. And I know that sounds fucked up, but isn't it half the truth? Because let's face it, Eve, if you weren't in a state of malnutrition, you certainly wouldn't be watching this YouTube channel. You'd be doing other things, not worrying about food, not freaking out about it, not obsessing about the gym, not pushing yourself to go to the gym when you don't really want to, and all the other shit that you do, which I know is culturally quite normal, but when you're restricting food and your body is underweight for where it should be, then just messed up things start to happen in your brain, don't they? And that's evidently what's going on, because as I said, if everything was just fine and hunky-dory with you, then you wouldn't have written to me. But because you're not identifying as a person who has anorexia, because your weight didn't go severely low or whatever that, I mean, what does that mean anyway? Um, so I think that there's, the main thing, Eve, is that you have to understand that you do have a restrictive eating disorder, and you have to stop belittling the severity of it. This is not about losing a ton 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 of weight to for it to be severe you could l let's stop judging how much weight somebody has to lose before they are in 
um, need of eating disorder treatment or before their body is in malnutrition. If you are restricting food and you are suppressing your natural body weight, then that's all you need to know. And you need to be as full on in recovery as anybody else, okay? Um, you know my thoughts on vegan. Well, maybe you don't, but let's not go into that right now. Um, but let's just, let's just say that if you're restricting food, then you need to take recovery action and you need to not talk yourself out of doing it by being like, well, it's okay because I'm not a stick insect yet. So it's fine. It's not fine. This is your life and you only get one of them and you're not living it the best that you can do. You're obviously not entirely happy with the way that things are going. And this is something that you can change. You can recover and all the food shit and the body image shit and all of the compulsive exercise shit will all go away if you do that. So take proper action. Do what it is that you need to do to get 100% fully recovered. Find the support that you need to um, get to get 100% fully recovered. And this is for you, Eve, and anybody else who is watching this, who is not in the stereotypical stick thin body, you are sick enough to get help. And you are just as in danger of malnutrition as somebody who's very underweight. Because if your body is not getting the energy that it needs, there are systems in your body that will be suffering. So get the help that you need and stop pretending that everything's okay. This is actually nothing to do with eating disorder recovery. They're just so cute, aren't you, Dave? Stinky. I love you so much, baby. Giving Dave a good grooming, because she's always so dirty, aren't you, Dave? So messy. Yes, you are. <laughs>